Will the next generation inherit a country better or worse off than the one that we enjoy today? I think that's the defining question of our time. For the entirety of our history, each generation has sacrificed to build a better America. Whether it was expanding our western frontier, establishing our national park system, lifting millions of seniors out of poverty, or defending our freedoms abroad. But now, for the first time ever, a majority of Americans believe their children will inherit a lower standard of living than the one they were handed from their parents. That's because at a time when our nation faces challenges that seem like they couldn't be any larger, from an increasing national debt to rising income inequality, our national politics seem like they couldn't be any smaller. The partisan gridlock, the special interest corruption, the outright incivility of it all. It's time we stop and ask ourselves, not as Democrats or Republicans, but as Americans, what's happened to our democracy? How has our political system, which was once one of our greatest national assets, become one of our greatest national liabilities? The status quo is unacceptable. America deserves better. That's why I'm exploring running for Congress as an independent, citizen-funded candidate this year from Pennsylvania's 10th Congressional District. I've grown up in Pike County, and I'm proud to call it home. I've spent the last six years working at the forefront of the political and fiscal reform movements and studying American government. And one thing I've learned is that the fundamental change we need in our politics can only come from the bottom up, beginning with we the people, not the party bosses or the special interests. But many wonder where exactly this change can come from. I ask you, why not right here in our corner of Pennsylvania? Why not right now, in 2014? Exploring this possibility is now a full-time focus of mine, and I'd be ready to give a campaign all I've got, but I know I can't start it or do it alone. So if come November, you don't want to have to pick between a party that is willing to shut down our government and a party that can't seem to get our government to work, if instead you want an independent third choice on your ballot, someone who can draw upon the best ideas to address our toughest challenges, then I need your support at this early stage. Please take a moment to sign the America Deserves Better petition and make a contribution of whatever you can afford on my website. Reaching my first 1,000 supporters and $25,000 will be a strong indication to me that the people of the 10th district and perhaps people across the country are ready for something new in our politics. I have a feeling that you and many others will agree that now is the time for leaders who put the people ahead of their parties and their constituents ahead of their contributors. That now is the time to put our budget, our economy, and our environment on a more sustainable and prosperous path, not only to improve our own lives, but those of generations to come. I hope you join me on this unique and important endeavor. I know the election is many months away, but we haven't a moment to lose.